Josh, do you like to play by the rules or are you a bit of a rebel? You know me, I'm a renegade. Well, if you switch to solar, I'm afraid you might have to change your ways. Oh really? If your system is over a certain size, you have to ask for a very specific kind of permission called a G99 certificate. And we're gonna be telling you all about it. I'm Josh. I'm Charlie. And we're Sunsave. We offer UK's first solar subscription, which means you can switch to solar with no upfront cost. But more detail on that later, let's begin. To understand G99 certificates, you must first understand the role of the inverter. Every solar panel system comes with an inverter, and the cliché is that the inverter is the brains of the solar panel system. And we're no strangers to clichés on this channel. Certainly not. Solar panels generate DC electricity, direct current, and that needs to go through your inverter and be converted into AC electricity, alternating current, before it can be used in your home. This is where the inverter steps in. It converts all of your solar panel's DC electricity to AC. Your inverter size is measured in kilowatts, which refers to the maximum amount of power that can flow through it at any given moment. So if the electricity from your solar panels is flowing through your inverter at five kilowatts, but your inverter is only three kilowatts, you'll lose some of that electricity. As your panels generate electricity and it flows through the inverter, it has three possible destinations. The first is your home. If your home doesn't need it, it will then go to your battery. And if your battery is full, it will be exported automatically to the grid and you'll be paid for it via the Smart Export Guarantee. And this is a big deal. Solar export income makes up a sizable chunk of the financial benefit that you get from having solar panels on top of the hundreds of pounds that you save every year from importing less electricity from the grid. Well said. Not massively relevant in the winter where you're unlikely to have any excess electricity, but in the summer months you are very likely to have excess electricity and it's important that you're able to export it and get paid for it. We've created an extremely thorough guide to all the best solar export tariffs. You can find it down below. Oh, oh, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. So that's one half of the picture, your panels, your battery, your inverter, your electricity. The other half of the picture is the national grid. Now, unfortunately, you can't just ambush the national grid with huge quantities of electricity. If your system is gonna be over a certain size, you have to give it a heads up first or ask for permission. The UK's electricity grid is pretty old. It was established in 1935 and it wasn't designed to deal with loads of electricity coming into it from houses across the country. In fact, the modern solar cell hadn't even been invented when the national grid was established. It was actually invented four years later. So the people setting up the national grid would have had to be pretty psychic to set up something that was ready for the rooftop solar revolution. The national grid these days is carved up into seven different regions, all represented by a district network operator group or DNO group. Without a doubt, your home will certainly fall into one of these seven great DNO kingdoms. And they are in charge of distributing electricity to all the homes in their region. It's as simple as this. If your inverter is smaller than 3.68 kilowatts, you do not need to ask for permission. You just need to do something called connect and notify, which is basically like giving your local DNO a heads up and saying, I've got solar now and everything's hunky dory. This is called a G98 certificate and a good installer will take care of it for you. They just need to submit the certificate no later than 28 days after their install. And if your inverter is larger than 3.68 kilowatts, you will need to ask for permission, and that's because you could be sending a lot of electricity to the grid. Given your inverter is meant to be about 75% of the size of your solar panel system, it's unlikely that you'll have an inverter that's bigger than 3.68 kilowatts unless you have a system that's larger than 4.6 kilowatt peak. But according to the Micro Generation Certificate Scheme, or MCS, in January 2025, the average size domestic solar PV system was indeed 4.6 kilowatt peak, which means that G99 applications are becoming very common indeed. Now, if we want to be really technical, the actual inverter limit is 3.68 kilowatts per phase. Per phase. Most UK homes have single phase electricity, so that's why the 3.68 kilowatt limit exists. But a minority of homes have three phase electricity, which means they're allowed to have an inverter that's up to 11.04 kilowatts. Now, this is indeed very technical. It is very likely that your home is single phase electricity. So your inverter limit will be 3.68 kilowatts. But if you're not sure, just ask your electricity supplier or check your fuse box. And our dear old grid is doing its best. In the vast majority of cases around the country, permission is granted. All this talk of requesting permission might be making you think of applications and paperwork. And if you're normal, this could be triggering feelings of dread. But do not fret, a good installer like Sunsafe will handle the whole process for you. And if you're talking to an installer who wants you to handle the process, stay away from them. 
If your DNO is happy, it will say yes, crack on. If your DNO is not happy, it will say no. It will then explain to you the local grid upgrades that are required for this system to be installed. You would have to pay for it, but you can choose whether to go ahead with that process. These changes are usually very expensive and can run into the thousands of pounds. But as we said before, <laughs> In the vast majority of cases around the country, your application will be approved. All DNOs have to respond to your G99 application within 45 working days. But there is also, for some people, a fast track option. This is known as a small generation installations application or SGI. If your inverter is between the size of 3.68 kilowatts and 7 kilowatts and your DNO is signed up to the SGI scheme, they will respond to your application within 10 working days. Once you've got the seal of approval from your DNO, they will send you a unique 13 digit number known as your export MPAN, which you'll have to pass on to your energy supplier before you can start receiving export payments. And this is why the G98 certificate is still important for smaller systems, because this is how these households access their export income. At Sunsafe, we always make sure that you have the green light from your local DNO before we go ahead with your installation. Shall we pause proceedings and talk about the UK's first solar subscription for 90 seconds? I believe we should. Sunsafe so Plus is the UK's first solar subscription and it is designed to unlock solar for millions of households in the UK. With Sunsafe Plus, you can switch to solar with no upfront cost. All you have to do is pay a fixed monthly fee for 20 years. And it does stay absolutely fixed. No sneaky price rises, so you are fully protected against inflation from energy bills. You will immediately start saving on your energy bills and you will also earn income for exporting excess electricity to the grid. And these combined savings could exceed your monthly payment to Sunsave, which means you actually earn money each year despite paying a subscription. This means you don't have to wait years for payback, which is what most people have to do when they buy solar upfront. Your best in class solar and battery system will also be protected by the Sunsave guarantee which provides total peace of mind that your system will produce clean green electricity for the duration of your subscription without you having to raise a finger. The Sunset Guarantee includes free replacement parts, including a battery and inverter, 24 seven monitoring and maintenance, comprehensive insurance provided by Aviva and downtime cover. Sunset Plus is built to be flexible, so you're in charge of your subscription. Therefore, you can make a full or partial early repayment at any point without incurring any fees, charges or penalties. You also legally own your system from day one, which means that you will earn 100% of the export income. We don't take a cut. Sunset Plus also doesn't require a roof lease or airspace lease, which have historically caused problems with mortgage providers in the past. To learn more about Sunset Plus, head to our website, sunsave.energy. There you can read way more about a subscription, watch interviews with people who already have it and sign up yourself. If the very unlikely happens and your G99 application is rejected, you have four options. Number one is that you can have your inverter limited. So say you have a large inverter like five kilowatts, your installer could physically limit the inverter at 3.68 kilowatts so that it's compliant. This means that all of your solar panels electricity can still be used in your home and in your battery, but not all of it can be exported to the grid, so some of it will be wasted. However, if your inverter isn't actually that much larger than 3.68 kilowatts, Clipping it won't be a massive problem because you're not really going to miss out on much. So it could still be a worthwhile option. Additionally, if you expect to use most of this electricity at home anyway, maybe you're a high consumption household with a heat pump and an EV, it could all be fine. Although some DNOs aren't huge fans of limiting large inverters. So the other option is to get a smaller inverter, which has the same effect. If you find yourself experiencing a rare case of G99 trouble, a good installer will offer you different alternatives, including a limited inverter and a smaller inverter. And a good installer will walk through the ramifications with you in detail so you can make the best kind of inverter decision, an informed one. Option number two, you could just pay the DNO for the upgrades that need to happen. As we've already mentioned though, this can be very expensive, so you might be better off just limiting your inverter rather than paying thousands of pounds. Option number three, you could just not connect to the grid. You'd still have solar panels on your roof, you could put the electricity in your battery, you could use it at home, but you wouldn't be able to export it. However, we don't recommend this option because surely having some export income is better than having none at all. And the fourth and final option is simply to wait and reapply at a later date. The national grid is constantly being enhanced and expanded to meet our increasingly electrified future as EVs and heat pumps become fixtures in our everyday lives. However, you could be waiting years for your local grid to see an upgrade. And in that time, you could have still switched to solar and benefited from big energy bill savings, even without export income. So true. So we don't recommend options two, three or four, but we did want you to be aware of them. 
So that is the short and long of G99 applications. You do not need to worry about whether you need to apply for one or how you have to do it. A good installer will sort all of that out for you. And if you'd like to make the switch to solar, but you're put off by the high upfront cost, you should consider Sunsave Plus, which is the UK's first solar subscription. And it means you can switch to solar with no upfront cost. To learn more about Sunsave Plus and sign up yourself, click the link in the video description. And to unlock a virtual treasure trove of information about everything solar, click the link to our Solar Advice Hub that's also in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for a steady flow of solar videos.